Okay, today is June 12th, and most of the work has been getting all this lattice work under here done. That's all completely finished now. Uh, so these smaller braces actually take quite a bit of time uh, just because the you know the complicated cuts and everything but uh, it's surprisingly <laughs> they fit surprisingly well uh, once you uh, cut them uh, and fit them uh, one thing I found uh, was that this this spar is about an eighth of an inch uh, too far back. It needs to come forward about an eighth of an inch, uh, which isn't a huge deal. Uh, and it's, uh, it's also why that gusset doesn't meet up perfectly with uh, the edge of that uh, uh, tall back piece there. Uh, if you go around, if I go around on this side, you see that uh, uh, it matches up perfectly. And uh, I had to do a lot of uh, measuring against uh, this side to realize that, uh, and that's also why, uh, and it's hard to tell in the video, but that side actually is uh, about an eighth of an inch uh, back from the gusset. And I, I thought I had measured it correctly, but uh, I didn't. So uh, there's enough slack in there that I can bring this forward uh, without having to wreck any cuts or holes or anything so that'll come forward uh, and then everything will be uh, right as rain. All of the uh, uh, fitting to get those uh, rear top uh, gussets matched with the uh, the spars not spars but the uh, the uh, struts I don't know what you call <laughs> anyway the uh, getting these um, gussets uh, uh, fitted to this rear portion and then getting everything properly aligned there uh, uh, and then getting those cross braces, the smaller pieces uh, cut and uh, and put in there. Uh, it, takes, it just takes a while. <laughs> it's a lot of measuring, a lot of confirming everything's correct but uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out and it's so close to the drawings I didn't think it was gonna be uh, so uh, I'm also happy with that uh, one thing uh, and I'll include a, a photo at the end of the video uh, that I made um, maybe there's a better way of doing it you can see uh, where those top gussets uh, there like in the middle uh, where they bolt into the uh, the main spar. Uh, nobody's arms are that long, even if you're eight feet tall, they're just not long enough. <clears throat> so uh, um, my creative solution to that, you'll you'll see in the photo, it's basically <laughs> stacking a bunch of two by fours and then putting a, a, a giant uh, torque wrench up in there to hold the nut uh, still, and then uh, uh, reefing on the uh, the bolt head on top to uh, to screw it in and that was that was my solution <laughs> and I put a little work light on the other side so I could kind of see what I was doing it was uh, it was pretty involved but I, uh, I eventually got the nut made it up with the bolt uh, and was able to screw it in but yeah that <laughs> it's so far in because the you know I don't I can't remember the measurements offhand but uh, nobody's arms are that long so uh, that was that was fun getting that done uh, so the next step here uh, uh, those gussets I'm not gonna put them on I'm just gonna leave them off uh, until uh, you know later in the uh, the build because uh, they're likely to get in the way of something and uh, the drawings for the fuselage don't have any mention of actually putting them on so I'm just gonna leave them off but it was a good indicator of that back piece being just ever so slightly uh, uh, or not the back piece but the spar uh, on that side being just an eighth of an inch off so uh, I'm glad I at least put them on there to, to, to check the fitment on the bottom here uh, uh, of course the flooring needs to go in I'm also going, going to leave that out for now 
uh, for the same reasons. Uh, you know, I'll need to get up in here, uh, and with the floor in there, it's going to make it uh, difficult, if not impossible. And there's just no reason to put it in right now. Uh, and the floor will uh, will go in where those spacers are, and then that those spacers will uh, will come out uh, on the front here. Uh, same same deal. A lot of this hardware needs to will have to come out in order to put the uh, the firewall along the uh, the front of there. Uh, again, I'm just going to leave it off for now. Uh, there's no reason to put it on right now. Uh, so the big job now. Uh, these are still drying. I just painted the undersides. I think I had mentioned the other one of the other videos that. Uh, the underside of those pieces hadn't been done, so uh, uh, I painted those. And um, uh, the the next step is basically building the, the fuselage out, or not the fuselage, the tail section. Uh, so you know that'll connect to the back there, obviously. And I think one of the first steps is actually using those giant long pieces. So uh, I'll have to wait for those to dry. Uh, one thing. Also, uh, there's uh, a weldment that needs to go in here, and I bought a new welder to uh, to tack weld the uh, uh, the pieces. The there's two long uh, uh, tubes that come in. Uh, can't really show on the video. Well, I'll put my hand there on the camera. Uh, it's about here somewhere. So there's there's two uh, uh, steel angles that that mount on there and then there's uh, uh, two 4130 uh, <coughs> steel uh, tubes that come down to the front here and then there's a large plate that they made up with and that needs to be uh, that all needs to be tack welded and then eventually completely welded so I think that's about it for uh, for this one uh, the so the fuselage is basically done or not the fuselage. I keep calling it the fuselage. The cabin is uh, uh, the cabin is completely done except for you know putting the floor in the firewall in that I'm not going to do right now. And you know those pieces, uh, all that can wait until uh, uh, they're needed because they'll just get in the way. So uh, short term, uh, I'm going to start building out the uh, the fuselage. Uh, that may have to wait until sometime next week because I want to want to give those uh, pieces plenty of time to dry. So, short term, start working on the on the uh, tail section. A little bit longer term, uh, start uh, uh, working on on welding this. Uh, that's where that sits. And as you can see, I've uh, started mounting the uh, the fuselage. The 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 first two. Uh, long pieces that, that connect to the uh, to this here and you can see that gusset will have to be taken off and, and bent to uh, to match that angle but of course I couldn't bend it until this is all done so I'm gonna wait and, until all this is uh, mostly complete before I uh, go ahead and bend those because they, they, they just don't need to be done right now and I want to make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be before uh, I bend those to the right uh, angle. So uh, that's where this sits right now. I'm just going to Clico the whole thing together, uh, make sure everything matches and fits up nice and everything. So far, so good. Uh, and uh, once I get you know the everything kind of built out, I'll start replacing Clicos and uh, and start putting in actual bolts. So. Uh, this is the long piece that I'll be working on. I probably won't be doing another video for a little while. I've got some things I need to do, but uh, uh, the next video should be showing uh, a lot of this uh, complete. may not be bolted all together yet, but it should be mostly complete. Uh, the rest of this is kind of an erector set, so uh, there's not all just uh, the <laughs> unbelievable amount of uh, cutting and fabricating and measuring uh, and stuff that you have to do for the the cabin uh, this looks like it's going to go pretty fast uh, i got this done just in a like in an hour and a half it, it's just basically 
putting stuff together like a Lego Lego set or an Erector Erector set. So uh, in a couple of weeks, I'll probably make another video showing you know the whole uh, fuselage section, or not fuselage section, uh, tail section, uh, completely uh, completely done. Okay, uh, been away for a bit on a business trip, but. Uh, Finally got back to uh, to working on this. As you can see, I'm starting to uh, work on uh, basically the base of the uh, the tail. Uh, I guess one gripe that I would have is uh, the further you go down here, the less holes seem to match uh, where uh, the the gussets and the uh, the struts are. Uh, all of those are are perfect. Uh, I believe most of those are perfect, but uh, except for that one is off. Uh, the reason this one here and this one here are sitting on top instead of on the bottom of the gusset like they're supposed to uh, is because I want to get everything squared away and make sure that you know I didn't screw something up <clears throat> to to get the holes misaligned or if they're just misaligned uh, this one here right now appears to be about uh, a quarter of an inch too long so uh, that's why it's kind of sitting there all crooked and everything uh, uh, I'm gonna work on that either tomorrow or uh, next week sometime uh, the process of getting this all exactly straight took quite a while uh, you know, I had to basically measure everything out from the uh, the frame that's known to be straight, and then uh, uh, make sure this this end here ended up being dead center with the nose gear uh, uh, assembly there at the front. So uh, that's all straight and clamped down. Uh, so this is clamped down here, uh, and then. Uh, uh, that's why this is kind of sitting on these blocks uh, here is so, you know, there will be room for the, the uh, Clecos. Uh, and they're perfectly straight. They're uh, motor mounts that I screwed up. So <laughs> they made uh, they made good uh, props to sit the, uh, the main cabin on while I'm uh, building out the, the tail. And, and I could get everything perfectly straight using those, making sure that the measurements uh, were exactly the same on both sides. So that's where the tail sits. So uh, I'm gonna leave all this clecoed. I'm not going to, especially with all these issues with holes not lining up, I'm, not, uh, I'm either gonna clamp it or uh, uh, cleco it until everything uh, is built up, including the, the members that come up, you know, from these gussets that come up and build the rest of the tail. Uh, I wanna get all that done and possibly even the entire structure uh, before I start uh, drilling holes because uh, if I did do something wrong and got uh, and these holes are off because I didn't uh, set something quite right and I'm just not realizing it yet uh, I don't want to make it permanent so uh, uh, this will be all this will all stay clecoed until the entire frame or very large majority of it is is done and I can be sure that uh, uh, those screw ups are just you know slight you know defects okay today is july 4th independence day and decided to spend part of the uh, part of the day uh working on the plane on the bd4 and as you can see the the tail goes together quite a bit faster than uh, the cabin does uh, there's uh uh, I think there are some uh, some custom fabricated parts, but uh, this part is basically just bolt together. Uh, so you can see uh, I've got the base down and aligned, uh, you know, to the to the center. Uh, that took a little while. Uh, you can see the board down there that's left over from my measuring and stuff. Uh, so that's perfectly centered the base is perfectly centered and i'm starting the you know doing the structure along the uh, the sides uh one thing i guess i would note is a couple of these the holes aren't perfect that's why there's clamps on them uh so uh 
wherever you see a, a clamp is where the holes didn't quite match up. Uh, I didn't want to drill new holes until I had more of the uh, structure in, in case, you know, something shifted and, oh crap, that's how it goes together. Now I've got an extra hole for no reason. <laughs> so I, uh, uh, I'm just going to leave them clamped uh, in case, you know, something is wrong or something's backwards or whatever. And uh, I just didn't uh, notice it the first time around. So anything that you see clamped is, uh, is either going to have to have new holes or uh, figure out why the holes don't match up. So uh, this basically you start out doing this uh, rear section and then you kind of build it forward, uh, which I haven't done. I'm kind of beat, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to do any more today, but uh, I got all of the, the bottom portion done and uh, the sides and this, uh, you know, the two top uh, beams. Uh, there's no cross lad lattice on the top yet or anything, uh, uh, and there's no cross beams on the, on the sides. They'll still have to go in, but it's July 4th. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy my freedom and just relax. Uh, there's a, a couple pieces that go down here, which are here, and for some reason I forgot to prime that one. So uh, I'm gonna do that before I uh, I go home tonight, uh, and then we'll have I'll have uh, two primed pieces that can uh, that can go on the uh, the back right there. That's what holds those together. Uh, and of course, there's a uh, a big heavy piece that goes. Uh, there's a big heavy piece that goes down there that uh, uh, is part of the later uh, steps. The uh, storehouse of uh, pieces is starting to finally come down now that the tail is going together because there's so many pieces. This used to be full of uh, uh, pieces. Now there's just a few left, and uh, uh, those are starting to come down as well. So uh, this here, these here are the uh, the fuel lines. Uh, they actually give you a, a spare one in case you screw one up, <laughs> which is a, a you know high possibility, especially if you're uh, just uh, doing it uh, first time like me. Uh, so this is the big uh, chromoly piece that has to be uh, uh, cut up and uh, and welded in in place. There's a uh, a plate that you have to make from uh, steel, and I believe I have that piece at home. Uh, so uh, uh, I'll have to cut those up, you know, uh, size them right, grind them, blah blah blah, get them to the right angle, and then uh, tack them, and then bring them home and, and weld them. Uh, and uh, I'll have to get, a, of course, a uh, uh, a fuel line uh, bender for uh, for these uh, and a flaring tool, uh, so I can uh, I can do those fuel lines that go up from the the wing down to the the firewall. So that's what, that's that stuff. Uh, so yeah, I think it's, uh, get that light out of the way. So uh, it's starting to look like a plane finally. Uh, uh, probably sometime next, uh, or yeah, sometime this week, uh, I will uh, probably have at least uh, this entire portion connected. So that's the state of affairs for July 4th. Happy Independence Day. Okay, it's uh, July 8th and I've got some more of the uh, the tail section done. Um, mostly like the, the really big pieces are these two that uh, finally joined to the cabin. Of course there's another two that uh, that go from here all the way up to here. Uh, that need, still need to be put on and <clears throat> uh, these are probably the more uh, uh, structural of the two because uh, they're they're heavier than the, uh, the other small the ones that go up there uh, so far it's it's going fairly well uh, the uh, everything is just clecoed together except for those two on the bottom of the, the cabin, everything else is, is just Clecoed. Uh, I've gotten quite a, quite a bit done there and along here, along the, the tail. Uh, there's some cross bracing that needs to go, you know, inside there uh, and uh, across the top here, obviously. Uh, but I'm going to call it a night 
Uh, I guess the only thing I should mention, I got all this weird kind of uh, duct tape and baling wire uh, set up going on here uh, just to keep it as as square as possible. Until I get all the, the cross members in, uh, I'm not going to try and completely square it, but you, can, you, know, you can see that rope is just kind of... It just tends to want to lean ever so slightly uh, to the right, so I just got that rope tight on there just to keep it from moving. And it's probably going to come untied. <laughs> I just ran out of rope. <clears throat> uh, I think that's about it for uh, tonight. Uh, uh, again, there's there's still that that stuff to do in there, and the you know the fuel lines that have to go up in there and, and down there, but. Uh, I want to get the the tail section done before I tackle that. So the next video I should probably have uh, the the majority of this tail section completely done. I can't see not getting it finished uh, if I can get out here for another uh, few hours and get some more done. Uh, this here, you know, you can see it looks a little bit uh, crooked right now because there's nothing holding on uh, onto it. You know, if I had something that would that would hold it there. I could uh, I could keep it uh, holding straight. Uh, there's two large uh, pieces there that go on the back. They don't have any holes drilled in them. So uh, uh, and then uh, the the uh, plans don't call for them being put on till afterwards. So uh, I'm holding off putting on those. Uh, although it would keep everything a lot more square. But there again, there's a, a few more pieces that you know need to go in here to to hold everything perfect. So I I think that's that's about it for uh, for today. Uh, but uh, if I back up here, it really is starting to look like an airplane. So I will hopefully be getting back to it within the next day or two. I've got some yard work that I got to take care of, so uh, that will probably take precedence over that this but uh, worst case scenario I uh, I can at least get some of it done over the weekend so until then thanks for watching